hello guys on this video i'll be sharing with you how to go about changing a white skin uh, image to a dark skin melanin image to be precise so without further ado let's dive into the tutorial so over here i have an image i downloaded from pixel.com that i'll be using for the illustration so first thing first i'll hit ctrl j on the keyboard come over here on my tool panel and select the quick selection tool to sample the regions I need to select. So I'll have to select the face region, okay, gently. Likewise, those uh, detailed region of her skin as well. I have to select them. Hold Alt to change your selection from plus to minus, and I'll be able to make the adjustments. So I'm scaling it up this way. I can hold Alt on the keyboard to readjust it this way okay if I release my hand from the alt I'll be able to add the selection this way okay that is in terms of selecting your image so you can also scale this down by using the open and close bracket key beside the key button on your keyboard to scale up and scale down the size of your selection that is in terms of that so I can do this this way so after I'm done with that, the next thing I would like to do is to come over here on the adjustment here and enable the black and white to be precise. So please take note that when working with a light skin image, they have lesser contrasts in terms of color. So in order for me to apply that feel of black melanin to this, I have to work on the red and the yellow channel over here. So I have to add more depth by adding more of the red and the yellow to the image to be precise. Okay, now over here I noticed that uh, there is no smooth transition between the wig of the lady and the image of her face to be precise. So I'll make sure this layer where I have the max is actually selected. Come over here and pick the brush to control the flows and opacity and set them to 100% respectively and make sure your foreground is actually on the white. So I can come over here and scale up the size of my brush by using the open and close bracket key and brush out this way to create that smooth feel along those edges. Okay, so you can see that those rough part edges are having uh, smooth details attached to the edges okay I think that's for that I think that is for that so after we are done with that you can see this is without the black and white adjustment layer and this with the black and white so I can still adjust here as well I think we are actually good to go from here so after I'm done with that, the next thing I would like to do is to actually change the blending mode for this to this. Now you can see the preview of the before and the after. I can also choose to scale down the opacity to a good radius of about this. Okay, I'm moving forward. I'll select this layer, come over here to the adjustment and enable the hues and saturation option. Over here on the hues and saturation, we have different uh, color channels ranging from master all the way to magenta. So I'll enable the red because when working with a, a light skin image, they have more of red and yellow on them. So I'll start by working on the red by reducing the uh, saturations and the lightness in the image as well. Now looking closely, you notice that it is actually affecting uh, the whole image so in order for me to make the focus to be on the face of the model I'll hold alt on the keyboard and move my mouse pointer where I have this black max layer over here on the black and white the flick and drag over here where I have the hues and saturation max and this actually comes up when I release the mouse which is giving you the option to replace the max so I'll click on yes so you can see this was before and this is the after 
okay so you can still move forward by double clicking on the thumbnail over here come back here and change this to uh, the red and you can be able to add more details to your saturation that is in terms of that likewise uh, your lightness you can also work on that manually you can also come over here and change this from red to yellow and scale down the details in in the saturation and in the lightness as well okay so after you're done with that we will be moving forward by adding the selective colors to this as well on the selective colors before proceeding i would like to hold alt we have this max there as well to replace this okay and i'll click on yes to actually replace this make sure the max uh, the thumbnail of the uh, selective color is selected so we'll be working on the reds and the yellows as well so me taking this this way i'm adding more of cyan me taking this this way i'm adding more of red so I'll add more of cyan by taking away the reds from the image likewise the yellow i will have to scale the yellow down and add more of magenta to the image come over here change this to the yellow channel okay add a fill of cyan and reduce this by doing this you're adding green to those yellow regions in the image so i can still boost up this this way that is in terms of that so after you're done with this i would like to add more details by coming to the adjustment once more and enabling the hues and saturation so on the hues and saturation this time around we'll be looking at uh, playing with the saturation this way by adding a little more saturation to the uh, image itself and you can also go about your business by adjusting the lightness as well so but before proceeding i would like to select this max layer over here hold alt and drag this above here to replace this uh, other max layer make sure this uh, this hues and saturation uh, thumbnail is actually selected so that you'll be able to make adjustments to the layer so i'll come over here and slide this way to add more hues or add uh, to play with the hues rather to a good hue of this radius i think this is good you can choose to actually add more saturation to this rather and we are actually good to go so after i'm done with that i can select this layer from the top hold shift select this other layer over here hit ctrl g to group them so that you can have a preview of the before and the after so over here is the before and this is the after okay that is in terms of that i can still go back and make little adjustments where needed i can come over here and play with the opacity for this okay that is for the black and white image or you can still go back by left clicking on the panel and make your adjustments the way you feel you want the image to actually look like and you are actually good to go so ladies and gentlemen if you do find this video helpful do well to give it a like do well to smash the like button if you're new to the channel and you're here to subscribe and you would like to see more content from me do well to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel and if you're a returning subscriber guys thank you for watching and see you in the next